Welcome back. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. That's for sure. It's a Woman Wednesday, my favorite day of the week. We mixed it up. We had uh, Dr. Petrie. We had Zen Sams. We had it all. We covered the impeachment, the Iran, the Iraq, uh, all that stuff. And now, uh, another thing we're the only show on television that does every single day. Uh, I bring in my co-host and the managing editor to correct any mistakes I've made in today's show. We call it the WTF, What's the Facts? Uh, what I do wrong today? Frankie. Well, John, uh, there me. might be a couple of areas where we may disagree, but in terms of factual errors, I actually have not detected any factual errors today. You really? Are, you are 100% factually accurate. Really? Even... If I put a gun to your head, you couldn't come up with one mistake. The, uh, well, uh, mistakes. Even if I put a Nerf gun. No to your factual head. mistakes. I'll all right. See that. So what's happening then? Great. This is right. unusual for me. Uh, all right. Well, again, the see big news in the last couple see of minutes is that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are stepping down. <laughs> Can we go to the Frank Cam? To I'm, I, I, you're going to sh- stop make. You want to start correcting my mistakes? I'm going to have to fire my rockets at you. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're resigning to spend less time with their family. These are the uh, same rockets that the Iranians were firing at our bases yesterday. They were if firing only that were true. Nerf rockets. I actually saw the Iranian minister over in the dollar store buying like a dozen of these jammies right here. All right, what else? Frank? All right, I'm sorry. okay. Um, Li- Lindsey Graham okay. uh, is, has made a st- Are you out of bullets? I guess not. Oh, yes, I am. Rats. All right. Um, I'm, I'm ready to go home. I mean, we're done, ah. right? I mean, come on. Uh, okay. Look, you know, Frank, there's all this serious stuff. We're getting yeah. bombed. We're getting rockets and, you know, uh, assassinating leaders. And, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I like to lighten, you, lighten I, the I don't blame you. I, I do, I'm too. I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't too. mean to take uh, preemptive action. Let me call Nancy Pelosi and see if I can get the approval of Congress before I attack your sovereign territory but, again. <laughs> Hello, um... Is that a sovereign territory, the Frank Zone? It, it, well, it's go sort to of a... the, Go to the Frank shot. You know how much work we've been doing in this studio to try to get this guy... Look at that thing. Man. Yeah, it's, like, it's a I protector. Mean... Poor, te- poor Teddy Roosevelt was, was shot again, like he was in 1912. <laughs> Last night, that Teddy Roosevelt was in a plastic cup in seven pieces. And uh, I'm holding for Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, big to thank you to Adam Hasner for congressional approval to attack your area. Big thank you to our friend Adam Hasner for rebuilding this <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt. Dome. Now, I actually I ordered another one um, because I draw a lot of strength from uh, the bull moose. But I appreciate the fact that he was rebuilt in a Steve Austin Humpty Dumpty esque manner. He's the Humpty Dumpty of Mount Rushmore now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty exactly. good. Exactly. All right, um, now. Uh, Mike Bloomberg is taking a dig at his 2020 Democratic rivals. He said, none of them have ever created any jobs. Okay. That's something, you know. Probably right. I mean, you know the funny thing is that uh, you keep hearing all these people out there, all the leading candidates, Warren, Sanders, Biden, talking about how terrible things are. Lo and behold, most of them, the only job they ever had was working in the swamp in Washington. They haven't done diddly squat well, for the last all, 20 years. Now all, all of a sudden, they're going to change it. No, they don't like the guy who's never been in government coming in and changing you things. You know, I hope, I would love to hear Mayor Pete Buttigieg and uh, Tulsi Gabbard say that, um, take a shot at Mike Bloomberg in, in return saying, hey, where were you when we were serving our country in the military? You were busy, you know, trying to bang supermodels at swanky Wall Street nightclubs. That's what I'd love to see them say in, in response. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'd like to see Tulsi Gabbard take the two of them, vote a judge and Bloomberg, and smash their heads together like this. Because she, to me, seems to project more strength than, than, than almost anyone over there. Um, we're going to be projecting strength all week long, all month long, hopefully all year long.